rabies control for our last lecture of the day. And uh, that will be the closing. Thank the you. last lecture of the meeting. Of the meeting as well, yeah. <laughs> right. So thank you very much uh, for that uh, introduction. Uh, I take uh, three key words from uh, the, the previous presentation, um, Victor, uh, selectively. Uh, networks, standardization, compare, harmonization. Um, so that is what I want to want to talk about in um, uh, in in this um, uh, closing statement. So uh, I refer back to a slide that uh, Valentina showed on on the first day. So this was the PRP um, meeting of 2015. <coughs> uh, so PRP in the center. So, so I really want to refer to these networks, which are the delivery platforms um, for, for rabies control. Um, and then the, the stepwise approach, a world uh, rabies day and rabies now uh, united against rabies, rabies epidemiological bulletins. Um, as was discussed yesterday and today. So uh, that led to the creation of the first rabies control uh, network in that portfolio, and that is the, the Pan-African Rabies Control Network. So that was established in, then in, in 2015, middle of 2015. Um, the green countries are all the countries that are members uh, of the Pan-African Rabies Control Network. And at that inaugural meeting, we had um, 33 of the African uh, countries actually present. Um, the, of course, we were not, uh, we were not alone in, in, in creating the Pan-African Rabies Control Network. Indeed, uh, we had um, all of the global partners, uh, of course, the, the, the tripartite, um, but also organizations such as UBS, uh, the industry, IDT, MSD, Sanofi Pasteur, um, Fondacio Merio, CDC, World Animal Protection, all partners um, uh, in this process. So the Pan-African Rabies Control Network had been particularly um, successful. Uh, so since that inaugural meeting, uh, we, were, we were able to host um, uh, several subsequent uh, meetings, so uh, the, a sub-regional meeting uh, in Cote d'Ivoire, a Southern African meeting, which was um, in, in South Africa, East African uh, rabies community meeting in Nairobi, um, a second sub-regional paracon, which was um, in South Africa, and the next full uh, Pan-African rabies control network meeting will be in September uh, this year. Uh, and it will be hosted in South Africa. Um, I should I, I should emphasize that these are not just uh, meetings. The, these are workshops where we work through um, very specific agendas, um, similar to what we've started to experience at this meeting yesterday with epidemiology today, with um, a stepwise approach workshop and and so on. So uh, in these meetings and as part of the Pan-African Rabies Control uh, Network, we created this uh, GARC educational platform, as was discussed by Dr. Balaram um, this, this morning. And of course, this um, platform is what we promote uh, across the regional um, networks. We promote the, the stepwise approach toward rabies elimination. We believe that the self-assessment is important and we believe that the creation of a national work plan that is realistic and that is based on the current uh, situation, uh, the factual information, what is really happening um, in, in, in countries, not just what we'd like to say. Um, so developing a, country, a comprehensive national uh, work plan. Uh, which will then, of course, drive the national strategy and, and achieve rabies elimination. How are we going to do that? We need to, um, we need to take steps um, to, in order to, um, to reach that um, ultimate, uh, ultimate goal. Um, 
Uh, the third uh, major initiative of the uh, rabies control networks um, is the DHIS-based uh, um, epidemiological tool, uh, which was discussed yesterday. You had an opportunity to work with it a little bit. Um, again, a tool to assist uh, improved surveillance. I also take that from Victor's um, talk, the critical importance of that. They would not have achieved in Latin America what, what they had um, if they did not uh, prioritize surveillance in the way that they did. Um, and of course, effective, transparent uh, data sharing is, is what, we, what we do promote. Um, and the, the imp and we need to improve data. And I think this was also discussed um, in the previous section. There were questions on dog population. We need to improve uh, data beyond the models that we currently um, have. So a key issue, um, the epidemiological bulletin, and also the way in which it talks to the, to, to the global um, health observatory um, and how we envisage that it would talk with um, WAHIS and um, the OIE mandate for reporting. So that, so the successes in in the Pan African Rabies Control Network led uh, to then the creation of the Asian Rabies Control Network, which was established in March um, of this year, and in following this same agenda that I just um, elucidated. So. Let me go to this. So if you can see from this slide, so this is really following extensive and, and long-standing discussions and, and cooperation uh, between the, the founding partner, uh, Fondacio Merrill and, and GARC. And it was considered for the, for the benefit and, uh, and the sustainability of MIREP that it would be best to integrate this network as Mericon, which would be under the secret Secretariat of GARC, the Global Alliance for Rabies Control, but with the continued support and involvement of uh, Fondacio Merio. So in that sense, it will, it will thus form part of the global rabies control networks portfolio, uh, which is supported by all the international partners. Uh, of, of the global rabies community. So I really believe that this represents a, a uniform, uh, a pragmatic, uh, and a progressive uh, approach that, that also builds the, the structure for support on a country by country and a regional um, basis uh, based on, on, on the merit um, and the, the, the specific um, uh, or unique program needs uh, in the context of the United Against Rabies um, uh, global business plan as elucidated by Dr. Torres um, for the elimination of canine-mediated human rabies by 2030. So, and I, uh, the structure of this slide was borrowed from uh, my colleague, Dr. Dr. Verena, um, who um, who attended the the the, the Paracon meeting at in the, at the end of last year, so what these networks aim to do is is to unify, of course, countries and networks, and the One Health approach is also discussed this morning, um, but but really to create sustainable platforms and sustainability is is the key issue. Um, uh, to 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 fund networks um, is a complicated process, and if we are too fragmented, and if we are not unified, the global community out there will not be convinced that it is worth investing in um, in in these various fragmented efforts. So we really need to harmonize and coordinate. Um, we we need to showcase successes. Um, and we, of course, we have to learn in the process. Lessons learned, I think, is an important um, a concept in, in going forward. And then to, pr to promote the implementation of tools. So not just have a, a talk shop talking beautiful things to each other 
and then go home and nothing happens. So, so I really think that the tools, including things such as the rabies blueprint, the stepwise approach, creation of these national work plans, which can be endorsed, um, educational initiatives such as the, 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 uh, the, the Global uh, Alliance educational platform discussed this morning, but also others, the, the online tools is discussed by uh, Valentina and Gregorio, and of course the Rabies um, Epidemiological Bulletin. So um, I'm going to conclude by that. Uh, uh, so yes, we should stand unified. Uh, yes, we don't need to change because survival is not mandatory. Those are the key the, the key phrases from the previous um, talks. I can only reiterate them. Uh, but I want to, in conclusion, I want to thank uh, Fondacio Merio um, for hosting this historic uh, meeting. And in particular, I want to thank uh, Valentina. I want to thank you for your leadership, and I want to thank you for your vision um, for, for the future. Thank you very much. One big applause for Valentina.